Hello there. In this video, we will learn about the AirMeet conference format from the attendees' point of view. Let's get started. The attendees should first go to their email inbox and find the email invitation link. Click on the email invitation link and you will be led to the event landing page. On the event landing page, you will see the event banner. And if you scroll down, you will see all other event information such as event description, various sessions of the events. You can also click on this calendar icon to add these sessions to your calendar, right? You will also see who the speakers are, the speaker details, right? And also the host. Now, if you see at the right, you will see the name of the event. You will see who the event is hosting by. You will see the start and end time of the event and the status of the event, if it has started or ended or is in the post state. At the bottom of this RHS, you will also be able to share the event to your LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, or even copy the link by clicking on here and share it with your friends. If you have any questions during the event and want to connect with the organizers directly, then simply scroll down at the bottom and find the organizer's email address here. Now, in order to get into the event, simply click on this enter event button, plug in your registration information and click on enter. In conference format, you will first land in the reception page. The reception page is basically the summary of the event. You will see the reception banner at the top. You will see the session that is going to be live next. In, and in here, you will find the carousel, clicking on which you will be able to go to the social lounge, booth or the session. At the bottom, you will see the different event partners or the sponsors. You can also click on them in order to go to their website. Now, if you go to the schedule area, you will see all the sessions for these events. You can also search them by the dates. On the reception page, if enabled, you will also see this walkthrough video. If you are stuck inside the event, you can choose to watch this walkthrough video or you can simply click on this question mark icon where you will get many options to get help. You can also use the tags, session tags to search the different sessions. You can also search this session by the name if there are multiple sessions or you can also search these sessions by clicking on here and selecting the status of the session. Now, whenever the session is live, you will see the number of live sessions out here. So we have one session live, so you will see number one out here. If you want to join the session, simply click on join session and you will be able to see the host and speakers on the stage. While the session is live, your camera and mic will be muted automatically and you can only hear the people on the stage. Now, if you want to go to the stage and share your ideas and thoughts, then you can simply click on this raise hand option. The session host will either accept or decline your request. If the session host has accepted your request, then you will be seen on the stage. And on the stage, you will be able to turn on your camera or mic, click on share screen button to share PDF or share screen, right? You can also use this icon to share your emoji reactions. You can click on this, um, you can click on this two line icon. You can click on this two line icon if you want to reset your camera or mic or speaker or if you want to use the virtual backgrounds. You can come on here in the camera section and click on this icon here and select the camera if you have multiple cameras. You can also select the virtual background of your choice, right? Okay, you can also just select this blur if you want to blur your background. If you want to add your own virtual background, you can simply click on here and upload your own background image and use it right if you want to remove the background you can simply click on here and remove the background now come to the microphone section and select the microphone of your choice and you can also test it out here right same with the speaker once done go ahead and save it now whenever you are done sharing your thoughts and ideas on the stage you can simply click on this leave the stage icon and leave the stage the session host can also call you on the stage and when they do, you will get this pop-up. You can either reject the invitation or accept the invitation. Once you accept the stage invitation, you will be on the stage. And on the stage, you will have all the controls that you had while you came on the stage using the raise hand feature. You can leave the stage when the session host removes you from the stage. When you are just a spectator and not invited on the stage, you will have following controls. You will be able to use the emojis. You can also use this emoji by using the keyboard numbers that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. You can also raise your hand like we covered earlier. You can also change the resolution of this live stream by clicking on here and selecting the different mode depending on the strength of your bandwidth. And during the live session, you can chat with others in the chat section. You can also put in your question. People can upvote your questions if they have similar questions by clicking on this button. 
if people want to comment on your question, then they can simply click on comment and write in their comments. If you want to delete your question, you can simply click on this three dot icon and remove your question. You can also come to this section and see who all are present in this session, in this particular session and not in the whole event. You will also be able to see all the posts that are posted inside this session. You can vote on the polls by selecting the option that you think is the best and clicking on vote icon. And if you want to hide this panel, you can simply click on this icon and it will be sent to the bottom. Now, if you want to bring it back, simply click on this button again. If you wish to leave this session and go to another session, you can do so by clicking on this arrow icon and join any other session that is live. Now, coming on the top controls, at the top, you will see the leaderboard feature. Right, so leaderboard feature is basically the gamification feature that the Airmit has introduced where you can engage in more activities inside the event and earn points. You can see all the activities and the points dedicated to it in this earn points section. You can click on my schedule and start a one-on-one -on -one meeting or a small group meeting with the people inside the event. Simply click on schedule meeting, give your meeting a name. You can also set up the meeting date and this date has to be inside the event date. Right, you can also set up the time of the meeting and the duration of the meeting. The maximum duration is 60 minutes and the minimum duration is 5 minutes. You can also add people in the event by clicking on add people. And from here, you can select the people that you want to add and send them an invitation. The invited people will get the meeting request as a pop-up on the top right. They can either accept or decline your meeting. The meeting request will also be sent to the email addresses of the invited person. Now, the meeting that you have set up will only open 10 minutes prior the meeting's start time. Okay, People will get this join button only 10 minutes prior the meeting starts, right? And then they will be able to join. You can, you can also add this meeting to your calendar by clicking on this calendar icon. In this meeting section, if you do not want to be invited to any meetings, then you can disable this meeting feature by clicking on this icon. You can just enable this button and people will not be able to invite you to their meetings. Coming on to the fifth section, in this section everyone can plug in their chats irrespective of the sessions they are in. On the chat section you can also reply to others by hovering over the message and clicking on reply and sending the replies. If you want to, okay. You can also direct message them by clicking on the three dot icon and click on direct message and send the direct message. As you can see from the direct message itself, you can also schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings by clicking on here, which was similar to this my schedule, right? You can also see the profile by clicking on here. Let's say somebody is abusing during the event inside this chat section. You can also report the same by hovering over the message and clicking on the three dot icon and clicking on this report. The event organizers will review the reported uh, messages and take actions accordingly. If you come here, you will see the polls. This is the event level poll. So this poll can be uh, seen and voted by anybody inside the event irrespective of the session they are in. Simply check the icon of the option that you think is right and click on vote. Now coming on to the people section. In this section, you will see all the people who are available inside this event. You can also hover over them and send them the direct message or schedule the meeting by clicking on here. You can also view the attendees in different views by clicking on here and selecting the different type of views. You can also search them by their names. In this message section, you will see all the direct messages that has been sent to you or that you have sent to others. If you come to the alert section, you will see all the announcements that the event organizer has made during the event. You can also enable or disable this notification sound for these alerts. Now coming on to the profile section, you can click on your profile and click on my profile to complete your profile. You can plug in your information, right? You can also write in your introduction. You can put on the interest, right? You can select up to five interests. And uh, once done, click on done and it will be shown out here. You can also upload your image. If you want to, uh, if you want to plug in your social media accounts in this section, it can be done. So simply click on the account and plug in the link and it will come out here in such a way people can see this, click on it and go to your social media account. Same with Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and your website. Once done, save it. From this section, you can also change the text language of the event, right? Let's say if you want to change the text language to Korean, you can do so by selecting the language and clicking on save. Now in the main text of the event, 
sprite will be changed to the language that you have just selected and this change will only be seen by the person who has applied these changes and not apply to everyone now if you want to exit this event you can also click on here and click on exit button now coming on to the lounge you can simply click on here and you will see all the tables these are the virtual tables right and network with others in these tables you can simply click on join button to join these tables you can change the layout of the table as people come into your table you can also share your screen enable or disable your mic and camera you can also fix your audio and mic settings or set up the virtual background by here clicking on here you can also set up your mic or camera settings or set up your virtual backgrounds by clicking on this icon you can also invite people to your table by clicking on this icon you can either invite individuals to your table or have the public invitation so whenever you invite individuals to your table simply select the people that you want to invite to your table and send invitation people will get an option to either join your table or decline the invites now if you want to share the public invitation simply click on here and publish the invite the invitation will be sent out in the feed section people can simply click on join button to join you on this table you can also chat with others by clicking on this chat options and share your chats and you can also see how many people are available in your table and who they are you can also invite more people by clicking on this icon now if you want to minimize this table you can simply click on this minimize icon while minimize you can also enable or disable your camera and mic if you want to maximize it click on this icon now if you want to go full screen you can simply click on here to go full screen now if you want to leave the table you can simply click on this cross icon coming on to the booths Booths are the section where the exhibitors exhibit their products and services. You can simply click on any booth and view the booth. You can also watch their videos. If they have offers, you can see those offers here. If you're interested in the products and services they are providing, you can simply click on now interested, log in your email address so that they will get back to you later on and submit it. The coupons you will be able to redeem by clicking on here. If you really wish to see the coupons, you can simply click on here and see the coupon. Here you will see all the booth information, booth logo, short description, long description. You can also click on the social media icons and go to the social media account of this exhibitor, right? You can also click on this chat section and chat with the exhibitor, right? And other people who are in this booth. You can also click on join table to join the booth tables and connect with the event exhibitor. The exhibitors can also live broadcast their products and services. And when they do, if you want to be notified, then simply click on notify me. Once done, whenever the exhibitor in this booth will go live, you will be able to get the notification. Or if you want to disable notification, you can simply click on disable notification and you will not get the notification. You can also explore other booths. This is the customized booth where you can watch videos on the screen only and you can and you can also click on the images to go to the different sections of website. You can also see the third type of booth that is a showcase in the PDF format. You can click on the three dot icon to see all the contents of the PDF. You can simply click on it and see the contents. You can also zoom in or zoom out this PDF. You can also reset the zooms by clicking on here. You can also download this PDF by clicking on this download icon or go full screen by clicking on this full screen icon. And other functions of the boots are similar. If you're stuck inside the event, you can choose to watch this walkthrough video or you can simply click on this question mark icon and you will be able to or you can simply click on this question mark icon where you can have multiple options to get help the first option is 24 7 support lounge if you click here you will be led to our support lounge wherein you can click on join button on any of this how may i help you table and our support team will help you with your queries you can also connect with our chat support or you can browse our help articles you can also search the help articles by clicking on the search icon that's all for today. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.